welcome to Fried and Tasted. All the recipes here are tried and tested. So chicken and cheese are two things that I really love. But this chicken cheese kebab is not like other kebabs. I have taken a slight different approach in making it. Usually we marinate a chicken, grill it and it's ready. But in this one there is one more step that involves a lot of cheese. So if you like this video, press the like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and share it with a lot of your friends and also comment below if you think that this kebab is really really cheesy. Now let's get into the ingredients. I'll roughly go through the ingredients now. The exact measurements are in the description below. So here I've taken some boneless chicken and for the marination I'll be using some cumin powder, garam masala powder, crushed red chili, some salt black pepper powder, ginger garlic paste, some cilantro or coriander leaves, lemon juice and olive oil. Did I say black pepper powder? I don't remember so I'll be using this black pepper powder as well. This much is for marination and then we'll be making a cheese spread so for that I need some cheddar cheese along with some milk and on the topping I need mozzarella cheese. So for marinating chicken in a big bowl here I have taken some olive oil. In it, I'm adding some ginger garlic paste. It acts as a very good meat tenderizer as well. And now I'm crushing some black pepper in it. Along with some salt. Some cumin powder. some garam masala powder and some chili flakes. I'm also adding lemon juice along with cilantro or coriander leaves. You can add it as much as you want and mix everything together. Now add the chicken pieces and coat them very well with the marinade. Now cover and leave it to marinate for at least 2 hours. The longer you keep it, the better it is. In the meanwhile, we will prepare the cheese spread. For it, I have taken 1 is to 4 ratio of milk and cheese. Mix everything together and now I will just microwave it for 1 minute. The cheese should be almost melted by now. If not, you can microwave it for a little longer and then with the help of a hand mixer, I'll blend everything. I have transferred it in a bowl and you can see that it is very thin still but I'm going to refrigerate it and after some time it will become thick and spreadable. It's been 2 hours and I have already preheated my oven at 200 degrees Celsius. I have also inserted these chicken cubes into the skewers and now they go into the oven for 25 to 30 minutes by flipping once in between. The kebabs are out of the oven and with the help of a fork I'm making sure that it is well cooked and tender. Uh, you can have the kebab right now itself but then it's not chicken cheese kebab yet. So if you have some guests coming you can do the preparation till here from before and just 10 minutes before serving spread this cheese spread on top of it all over. You can see that it has become pretty thick. Spread it as lavishly as you want and that's the big advantage of making this at home and it was super easy to make. And it's not over yet. The next goes mozzarella cheese slices on top of it and again cover everything with it. Keep the oven preheated at 200 degrees Celsius like before and now when you think you have had enough of cheese just sprinkle some chili flakes on top and bake it for 7 to 10 minutes. And now this bubbling hot cheesy kebabs are out of the oven just wait for 2 minutes before indulging in. I have sprinkled some chili flakes on the plate just for garnishing and look at those kebabs resting on the bed of cheese. <laughs> Whatever cheese is left on the baking tray, you can put it back on the chicken and I just can't resist from eating these. And if you feel the same, let, it, let me know in the comment below and make it soon.